Hello, hello, hello. Hey, everyone. So this evening, darlings, is insights, insights, insights. So I love, love, love being here with you all. And shoot, <laughs> my husband is at an art uh, art show right now and he just sold a painting um, so I was just congratulating him but um, our son is with him and he said that Owen is very bored so if anybody wants to go down and pick up Owen and bring him home that'd be great <laughs> he's super bored oh my gosh that's funny stuff hi Samantha J hi Sammy J girl Christy's here too yay got my VIPers in the house Trisha's here boom 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 hi sweetheart so hi Christy so we just did insights live with uh, with our VIP -ers. so they're back I love it hi Karen tonight is insights so whatever you want insights on um, people can ask one question and I will go ahead and tap in for you hi Lucy Lou hi sweet love um, so yeah insights so whatever you're wanting me to tap into hi Holly balls I'm a Holly dolly hi Holly dolly that was so cute that's your inner child I think it's cute I love it uh, so yay I love watching you guys hop on um, I'm gonna go ahead and invite some people. Like I was saying, my husband's down at uh, his art show and he just sold a painting. He was super excited. And then he, he says that our son is very bored. And so I was like, oh, does anybody wanna go down and pick up our son, <laughs> bring him home? Oh, too funny. Pretty soon he's gonna like be biking. He's gonna bike, you know, bike back and forth. So that'll be good. I'm inviting some peeps. Sharon, Charlotte needs insights. Christy was already, she's in the, <laughs> she's in the VIP. I just invited her. Uh, anybody else you guys want to invite? Holy Spirit, you are frozen. Am I really? I changed the internet settings because I saw that I was freezing on the VIPs. Uh, so let me go ahead and invite more people. I didn't announce anything. Um, so let's see, who else needs insights? I mean, feel free to invite, invite, invite. I was going to do an event and invite everybody in the event and I just didn't have time but all these people like insights so let's invite them yay Martha likes insights let's see who else likes insights Tabor does Carly does Courtney does Laura does who else likes insights Christy loves insights yeah what's up what'd you guys have for dinner I'm curious I'm curious what you had for dinner I had a hamburger it was a veggie burger it was a veggie burger it was super good super good veggie burger let's see okay that's good for now and if not we'll just hang out <laughs> we'll just hang out there's I feel like most of you are the VIPs um, but definitely hi Teresa ask me a question um Karen was here so ask, ask a question sounds wonderful Lucy Lou do you have any questions sweet little love feel free to invite 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 people that you feel need insights um, hi Becca I'm doing insights tonight so feel free to ask a question um, so ask one question and I will tap in make it a good question make it a good question uh, so definitely um, drop your comments in any 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 insights thank you Lucy Lou um, it's still freezing really hmm freezing freezing hi Donald nice to have you if you need insights definitely let me know and keep you guys keep me updated if I am freezing 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 um, but go ahead and drop in your question if you have a question about your career or your relationship uh, you know uh, just uh, loved ones uh, just feel free to drop in your question and I will tap in for you pizza you had pizza tonight hi Christine yay you had pizza I love pizza Lucy can I come over <laughs> I would love that Aunt Lucy Aunt Lucy hi Aunt Lucy I want some pizza <laughs> I love it what else did you guys have to eat so we're doing insights so feel free to drop in your question First come, first serve. Grilled chicken and a lovely salad. Hi, beautiful light. Hi, Teresa. That sounds yummy. Oh, girl, I'm coming over. How's your kitty? How's your kitty? Um, I would love to hear. Definitely let me know if I'm freezing because I'm not seeing as much interaction as I usually do. So maybe that's because I'm freezing. Um, go ahead and drop in your insights and let us know what you are wanting. Uh, let me know if I'm freezing. If I need to start over again, I will. 
um, steamed broccoli and pork. That sounds yummy. So we're doing insights, insights, insights. So let me know your questions. Right now we're just sharing what we had for dinner. <laughs> so I had a veggie burger. Lucy had a pizza. Um, so love it. Karen, am I on the right path to this new online business to be successful? Absolutely, Karen. Let's, let's, let's dig in a little deeper there, girlfriend. You are. Yep. You are on the right plan path to this new online business to be successful. My hands are getting really hot and so there are times that I feel like that means healer. It also means that you're spot on or you're on. Um, so allowing yourself to be on, just recognizing that uh, I feel like they're sharing that, you know, uh, whatever little fears you have coming up is is uh, is not necessary because everything is going to happen. Okay, perfect, Karen, good. Um, so everything is going to happen and I feel like because of that, um, go with that moment momentum and I feel like you got this inspired idea for a reason it needs to be out there people need you um, whoever is receiving your services need you Karen and that's just that's what it is and so I like that so much I just feel like that's really um, what they're wanting to allow you to know is just recognizing don't worry you're on the right track good momentum good momentum good momentum um, so perfect awesome thank you Donald so good okay so then we got Peggy Let's see, Peggy, does my father-in-law David have a message for me? Perfect. So right now we're doing insights for those people who are jumping on. Go ahead and ask your question. Um, so I feel, so this is interesting, Peggy, because I feel like uh, as you're looking at this, allowing yourself to, I'm going to slow down. I have two devices so I can make sure I, I'm tapping into the right person. Um, so I feel like for you, little lady, let me just really look into Peggy. Um, I do feel him stepping forward and it's interesting. There's, is there something with your husband's leg or something like that? I feel, or maybe it's his hand, his hands. Um, and I feel like, uh, father-in-law is just saying, you know, to be able to take care of him. And at the same time, I feel like also the very first thing he said is to please not worry. And I feel like you were on the inside slide with the VIPs and, and all your guides were saying the same thing. So I really feel like, um, things are really going to work out for you, honey. And I feel like that's, that's a portion of it. That's it was almost like he blasted through and he's like tell her not to worry the job is gonna go great you know so allow yourself that allow yourself that so on the nose you can see like when I do that on the nose that just means on you know on the nose <laughs> means we're right on the right track um, ask my side <laughs> Lucy is her is Lucy's higher self working it is um, I feel like I feel emotions from you I feel some emotions that need to cleanse and come out so let that happen anger fear um, shame embarrassment just let it come out just let that come out if even I almost feel like to see you journaling or something or even just like voice recording or talking out loud to be able to uh, express yourself and, and release this because your higher self is definitely working and allowing yourself to recognize that it that it is working and that uh, a lot of times we need to do that cleansing process in order to pop and, and to hear spirit and to be able to be closer to spirit um, Christine I do feel this online business is going to be successful and what they're sharing then is um, I feel like what they're sharing is how successful do you you know do you want it also recognizing that um, it feels really good and then I feel like they're sh sharing to change your level of success. Always be changing your level of excess. success. Okay, I just wanna know if that slip was important. Um, so success, access, okay? So access, that was, it was a, a slip that was important. So allowing people access to you um, to be able to get the volume you need for this online business, people need it, and then change your levels of success as you access. And so change your levels of success. So for now, like, I'm not sure exactly what your online business is, but let's say your success for you now is three clients, okay? And so then, you're so welcome, Lucy Lou. Um, and so then uh, next month your success, or you know, two months down the road, it's five clients or something like that. So keep upping your level of success and just be okay with that. Um, you're welcome, Peggy Sue. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, Teresa, that is so cute. Little kitty. I love it. I love it. Um, 
Okay, so Becca, so 33, 44, 55, go girl, go. <laughs> Sounds like a football game, right? Um, I'm wondering why these numbers are surrounding me daily. I feel a very beautiful light and presence with me lately. I'm wondering what these numbers are meaning or if there's a certain message I need to know. And I feel like with that, it is uh, allowing you to activate and to open. Hi, Martha, I'm just doing insights tonight. So go ahead and ask a question and I will tap in for you. Um, hi, sweetheart. So I I feel then that Becca they are definitely trying to assist you and allow you to um, have access to them I feel the masters are close and I feel the angels and your spirit guides so all of that and also then looking at transformation and I feel like this is a transformation of your spiritual self I can definitely feel I almost feel like you like you, you opened up like they're showing me like an open lid like you just opened up and so allowing yourself to do that um, <clears throat> what they're meaning again is uh, master angels spirit guides and transformation and that flip into the spiritual realm and I definitely feel like um, allowing yourself to be open to whatever they're they're wanting to share um, I feel like it's not a certain message it's just that they're opening you up to allow for messages to come through if you meditate you know allow yourself to get to that clear state to that clarity state um, for me it sometimes it feels like when I get to that clarity state I'm like falling um, not falling like off a cliff but just like like I've just gotten into that state, so allow yourself that. Um, so that's that feels good, Becca. Go, girl, go, poppin'. Oh, good, Karen. I definitely feel the clients on the other side of that, Karen. I definitely do. Um, oh, poor Teresa. Okay. Insights about why her back pain has increased. It's a bitch. Oh, girlfriend, I feel there's some inflammation. I feel inflammation. I'm almost wondering if you've had um, any uh, like potatoes or some cheeses that have caused some of that inflammation of any sort. Um, and I'm just asking if there's anything else. Um, but I do feel inflammation there. And then I also feel that... Uh, hmm, I see an opening and so when I see this opening they're showing me like an open bed you know for your back surgery so I feel like it you know to really um, have that open um, have that have that understanding that you're opening it have that understanding um, that you're really allowing yourself to have have access to this and you make dreams come true so allow your dreams to continue to come true allow all of this to continue coming for you because it's it is it is it is um, and it's interesting to me too because with the back surgery I feel like what they're sharing is that um, I feel like what they're sharing I'm just trying to find the other feed sorry <laughs> okay oh there okay perfect because I want to see all your questions and I don't want to fall behind and so I'm gonna get back into Teresa's um, energy um, yeah and I can feel that too and so um, I feel that that open bed so just allowing yourself to um, recognize that dreams do come true I, I see like a fundraiser of some sort um, so that feels good as well that feels really really good um, I feel mom and dad and they, they seem to come in quite a bit auntie but then I'm also feeling grandma um, stepping in to really want to help you um, so Teresa seeing the number of sequences just like Becca that's so cool um, Yes, I feel that feels good. Um, Holly Balls. Okay, so do each of my boys have main guides that I can call upon to assist in their growth? Oh, Holly, that's a superb question. I'm getting yes. I'm getting that one is female and one is male um, for their main guides. So we have one of one of each for your, your two boys. One has a male guide, one has a female guide. Um, that feels good. On the nose. Um, you're so welcome, Pegs. Okay. Oh, Martha, I'm sorry, honey. It's been a rocky day. Oh. Um, so let's see here. I'm sorry, honey. We'll definitely ask questions. If you have a question of some sort, I can definitely tap in for you, okay? Um, so then Christy, let's see. Christy, why am I getting my migraines again? Is it something I'm going to have to go back to the doctor for? I'm getting a no right off that bat, but with the migraines, um, I feel like what I'm getting there is like a vitamin of some sort um, that you're lacking. Um, I know you're taking the supplements with Young Living and that's wonderful. And I feel like greens is what they're saying. You're missing out on some greens of some sort. And I'm not sure if this is in the form of spinach 
you know, lettuce, greens, greens, greens. I'm asking him for more cucumbers, celery. So there's greens, like you're just missing greens from your diet of some sort is what they're saying. Anything else? I feel like that's it. I feel like that's it. Um, okay, so then Mary. Um, oh, yes, of course, Ashley. Hi, sweetie. Uh, so Mary, um, are spirits trying to get through to me? Um, yes. No, <laughs> no, your old traumatic brain injuries are not taking over. What's neat is that our body does regenerate. And so I've had some traumatic brain injuries myself, fell out of the back of a pickup truck, 13 staples in my head. Uh, every once in a while I can, I can feel like it itches or something like that back there. But, um, anyway, regeneration. So your body has, you know, is, is regenerating itself on a daily basis. And so, um, I even asked about a skin condition I had as a child and the dermatologist even told me, that, no, uh, uh, no, you don't, you don't still have that. Whatever medications you took are not in your system. So same with some of our injuries, our injuries are able to regenerate. And I feel like for some reason they want us to want me to tell you that. And I feel like in some ways, perhaps that gives you peace of mind. So there are spirits that are trying to get in touch with you. Um, I do need to share that, um, I had, uh, so goddess Hathor is one of my spirit guides and I had goddess Isis come through that injury site. Um, it, and it came, I think in February and it was like that site, it was, it was throbbing. Okay. So that where I got my 13 staples was throbbing and I was like, what is this? And I started doing automatic writing and journaling. And what came through was that um, goddess Hathor, my goddess Hathor always comes in over here. She just does like, I'll get an itch and I know it's her and goddess Isis was trying to come in at the same time. So, and I was writing, I'm like, well, why, you know, and they said, well, we needed a, we needed an opening. Now, isn't that interesting? So they needed an opening. So I do feel like spirit is trying to get in touch with you. And I definitely, Mary, feel that, um, that it is, uh, you know, as you're sharing about your concussions, um, that, I almost feel like they don't want you to think about those and just to recognize that the um, spirits are coming in, the spirits are coming in um, and allowing yourself to really welcome them in. Um, it kind of tripped me out actually when Goddess Isis said that she was coming in through my injury site. I was like, what? Um, but at the same time, um, you know, I just feel like welcoming that. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's really important. So they're coming, Mary. That's good. You got you. Uh, I'm super excited that you're here. Um, well, good, good, Becca. Opening up to your higher self, feeling your guides and angels around you and your family. Good, you're so welcome, love. Um, oh, so many blessings to you, Becca. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's go ahead and tap into, let's see, sweetie, where are we? I just wanna, I like knowing where I'm at. Okay, so we got Ashley. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. Hi, sweetie. Um, Ashley's part of our VIP group. Hi, loves. Um, Heather, I would love insights about the healing of my mouth from my wisdom teeth. It's been very complicated. I'm still being, dealing with some issues from it. I feel there's a lesson to learn. Yeah. Um, I do. I feel that too. And I feel like um, it is a lesson. I also feel um, it's interesting to me because they keep wanting me to say, you know, you've been through the Reiki too. So I feel like in some ways it's allowing you to release some of the toxins that were inside you. And I feel like what they're sharing right now is, as it's a very efficient way of releasing, even though it's complicated. And even though I can, I can feel your, your pain or the pain you went through. And, um, also I feel like your mouth just feels, it feels inflamed. It feels you know, big, like I almost feel like, it, um, to me, it feels like you still have cotton in there or something like that, even though I'd feel like you don't. Um, but at the same time, I feel like it is trying to allow for the toxins to come out. I do feel like it's a, a lesson in speaking your truth. And I feel like you're doing it, you know, and I do, you know, all of us healers on, please send healing to Ashley. And also, you know, I know in the Reiki gurus, um, have us do some distance healing on you. Let us do that. Let us put those symbols on you and, and let us, you know, have this collective of, of that Reiki to come to you. Um, and, and again, anybody who has that healing in them now, please send it to Ashley um, and expedite the process. I feel like, um, I feel like you, I feel like some things have happened that you have not spoken about 
and that you need to sp speak about and I feel they're, sh they're showing me whistleblower. Um, I don't necessarily, necessarily feel like you are the whistleblower, like you need to call someone out, but I feel like you have to voice what happened. Okay, and I feel like they're showing me two or three incidences where you need to let that go. Okay, um, so that feels that feels good. That feels good, love. So I'm sending you Reiki right now, my love. I'm like I'm putting all the symbols on. <laughs> I'm pushing them in. I'm pushing them in. I'm pushing them in. I feel the zonar would be really good. Yes, 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 yes. In the hearth. Okay. So please, those of you <laughs> who are Reiki, please allow yourselves to share that. Um, so let's see, where are we at? Um, perfect. Yeah, it's an interesting, Teresa, for sure. Okay, so we got Jody Jodes. Hi, Jody. Hi, sweet little thing. She's in our VIP group as well. Um, I feel like you're doing good with it thus far with allowing for your children to make those connections with their guides. That feels really, really good. And uh, you have a, f a girl, um, I feel like with her, um, I almost feel like um, asking her questions. Uh, I feel like almost like they're sh sharing, like ask her a lot of questions about about spirit or you know, ask her for her two cents about spirit. Um, what she's discovered, what she knows, that kind of thing. I feel like um, with her specifically, um, she doesn't like direct or something like that. Like she doesn't want to be told what to do or that kind of thing. So just ask a lot of questions with her, I feel, to help her with her main guide connection, with her guide connection. Yeah, so that feels good. I feel like what you're doing with um, the others feels really good. So yeah. Um, okay. Okay, Teresa. Okay, so Chelsea. Um, oh, honey, I felt that. Actually, I felt that, girl. I was like, I felt that. Now, Eerie can both ears. So, all of the Reiki practitioners in the house, please send it over to Ashley, my dear. Um, yeah, poor thing. Um, I'm just going to tap in your energy a little bit more. I do feel like it is, you know, perception. So, it's almost like I feel like you part of the ears is hearing messages that are not true. So allowing yourself to change that. I feel like, I feel you girlfriend. And I feel like that's a part of it. I, yeah. And after this live, I'm, if, you, if you don't, I hope it's okay if I put it in the Reiki gurus to have us all do healing on you. I just feel like that's very, very necessary. So yeah. Yeah. And I feel like others can tap into this too. So that feels good. Sweet little Ashley. Okay. Yeah, good, Mary, good. Um, so Chelsea, I would love some insight about my relationship with my boyfriend, good or bad. Um, that's good. Um, yeah, good, Ashley. Absolutely, love. Aww. Yeah, I'm excited too. I'm excited too. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, okay, very stubborn daughter. Okay, Jody, I was just like, she doesn't like to be told what to do. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and tap in for Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. So good. Um, he's, he loves you, you know, very, very, um, over, I, I feel like over overwhelming in some ways, um, love for you over, um, over the top love for you, Chelsea. And so with that, I'm feeling, I'm not sure if he, okay if he does any like substances or if he drinks or something like that, like, I mean, plenty of us do, right? But I'm almost feeling like there is like a substance in his body of some sort that um, there's, there's too much of or he does it too much or something like that or he could do it too much. And I think that they're saying that if you want to categorize it as bad, that would be the bad. And so um, again, they're, they're saying it's almost like uh, allowing you to recognize that this is, it could be in the past, it could be now, it could be in the future. So allowing for whatever this is not to get out of hand, I feel like is what they're sharing. I definitely feel that you two are very, very much um, 
in in love i mean i do feel that i feel like i feel distance from him and i just feel like it's because he's been hurt in the past and so um allowing for him to to increase his trust you know his trust within you um and i feel like um this this doesn't have to take a lot of work um but just allowing him to know that he can trust you trust you trust you um so that that feels good that feels good chelsea that feels good. You guys feel good. And I, I definitely tell people if they don't feel good. <laughs> if they're not a match, I'll tell them. Um, but you do, you feel good. You feel good. I think it's a lot of talking, a lot of being able to communicate. And I think sometimes he doesn't like to communicate. So allow him to, allow yourself to show him, allow you to show him that he can trust you so he can talk about things. Um, so that feels good, love. Martha. Hi, sweet Martha. Another one of our Reiki tours in the house. Hi, sweetie. We got Ashley and Christy. And <laughs> hi, love. So do you have time for one more? Absolutely. Anything that you're called to share is appreciated. Um, honey, I definitely feel um, a pop of some sort. I definitely feel um, that you have blasted through something significant. I really feel that. I feel like you have blasted through something very, very significant and whatever this is feels really good. And then it's, I see turn, I see tables turning and I feel like, um, I feel like at times you feel like you're under somebody's thumb and I feel like that's not happening or it's not going to happen. It's, it's moving into a much more freer, space of being able to be um, honestly your own boss is what I'm hearing and um, I do encourage you you know to be able to start practicing your Reiki um, and be able to um, you know put put price tag on um, uh, Patsy is out there and did this awesome brochure so maybe ask her for some ideas I, I feel like that's a really good avenue for you and I feel like to what they're sharing, like they want me to share my story. So I did my Reiki sessions here um, in my home, in my spare room at first. And so be okay with whatever the space is. It's cute. I don't know who this is exactly. I want, I want to tap in um, to your the reading in, that we had. But anyway, they're saying like, you're still making money. Do it in your spare bedroom. Do it wherever. You're still making money. <laughs> so that feels good. That feels really, really good. Um, so, yay. So I'm caught up. Hi, Monet. Hi, sweet love. I'm doing insights and you're next. If you want an insight, let me know. Um, and uh, wonderful to have you guys here. So go ahead and ask a question, Monet. If there is something that you want to know, I'll definitely tap in to you for you. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm just doing one question here. Um, the VIPs uh, in the VIP group, uh, I do follow ups and they can ask more questions, but I just want to just have one question here. So I'm just waiting for Monet um, and just to see if there's anything more. Oh, Trisha's still here. Hi, sweet Trisha. You're so welcome, Chelsea. Yeah, absolutely. You guys feel good. You really do. Okay, sweetie. Go ahead, Monet. You let us know, girl. You let us know. What, what do you want? So, yeah, that feels good. So I'm just going to wait. Maybe you guys see the comment before I see the comment. <laughs> So yeah, that feels good. So Donald, did you want an insight of any sort? You let me know. <laughs> it's like the radio silence. <laughs> I remember when I was a disc jockey and it was like, we cannot have radio silence. <laughs> That it was a uh, oh gosh, dead air was not a good thing. <laughs> dead air was not a good thing. Uh, yes, I was actually asked to be on another radio show. I got an email yesterday from somebody. I'm gonna have a call on Friday. It's called Transformation uh, Transformation Radio. So I'm excited about that. We'll see where that goes. Uh, good, you're welcome, Martha. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. To be your own boss. It's it's interesting because they were like, she's not underneath somebody's thumb. So that feels really, really good. Um, you're so welcome, Jody. Absolutely love. Okay. Okay. And I was like, Monet, I know she's there. Um, so are you really channeling Archangel Michael? Yes, I'm just getting a definite yes. 
Yeah, I'm getting a definite yes. Um, and allowing yourself to believe that and share what he says with us. You know, definitely um, feel free if people are channeling and want insights there, you know, drop it in the group. Like, you know, this, these are the insights I got from Archangel Michael. What do you think? You know, um, so yeah, that feels good. That feels really good. Yay, I know I'm excited about it. We'll see. I guess they've been in um, on air for 13 years. So we'll see. I'm super excited about that. Um, yeah, I know. I was, well, like I said, I think Friday I have an interview with them about the radio show. So it's pretty cool. Um, so awesome stuff. You're very welcome, Karen. Oh, thank you, loves. I love you too. Oh, I love it. Thank you. All right. Awesome, you guys. Um, so, oh, Jesse, I just saw you. Um, what does my body need to lose? Um, I, I feel like there's too much sugar and I'm not sure. I, I feel that there's, I don't know if you drink pop, but I'm feeling like there's extra like carbonation inside you or something or extra, extra air <laughs> inside you. Um, so I feel like the sugar and then, yeah. So I feel that to cut sugar and then if there is pops of any sort to cut that but I don't know if it's necessarily pop or I just feel like carbonation or something extra in your body um, that's just taking up space um, so I hope that makes sense all right you guys will have an amazing evening